shallow womb, y'all should all want to first off and foremost give uh, all praises on the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the elect elect throughout the world, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, as the brother Lord Yah from the great millstone in Charles, Louisiana camp, and uh, man, just coming with a you know another quick lesson as uh, as always, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? All right, because uh, man, as we continue this walk and get uh you know further further but but also closer and closer to th this finish line of ours all right we have to uh, c continue to stay focused and, and also uh you know j just be on that watch all right because if you're not on that watch then uh as it speaks about in the book of ezekiel you know if you don't watch it and warn the people you know it's, it's easy for you to be uh caught off guard all right so without further ado i'm gonna jump right into it and lord will it be other for us Mark chapter 13 and uh, verse 18 it says and pray and pray ye that your flight be not in the wind all right and that's what we're supposed to do hey right? because man y'all by shimmy outside knows that the inward part of man all right y'all by shimmy outside knows that uh jake loves to when when, when that winter comes all right everything is what you're supposed to be inside you know sleeping basically you don't want to be found uh comfortable in this place all right real quick because we go to uh we grab that precept book of uh the book of uh Michael the Lord tells us hey, to come out of this place all right you don't want to be found uh as, as one of those people that's gonna be in a in a com in a comfortable mind state, all right. To where um, you're not really uh, waiting on the Lord to return, all right. You're gonna be found in a comfortability, all right. Uh, this is Micah chapter two and verse ten. It says, "Arise ye, arise ye, and deport, for this is not your rest." All right. So when it, that that winter here, all right. All you want to do is be lazy. You want to be slothful, all right. That's why the scriptures and proverbs tell us what consider the ant, all right. We're gathering, gathering before that har that that great harvest comes. All right, and and that's just a, a parable of going into us seeking out for the elect and putting that work in while we can, you know, while we actually can, can cherish, you know, doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai because you don't want the Lord to make that come into where He send those pestilence, the plagues, and the famines upon the earth, and, and now you basically in awe. All right, you be found in awe because when you had the the liberty to do it, you did. All right, when you had the liberty to go out on the highways and hedges, you did. All right, you didn't uh. Put the study in it, all right? You didn't all uh, pray and, and fast enough for y'all watching y'all shot, all right? So that's what this speaking about, because it says what? Because it shall, it shall, it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction, all right? When you get comfortable in this place, this place has uh, a variety of a uh, of number of uh, snares and traps, so to say, all right? Everything in this place that is built up and, and that was uh, basically brought up, from, from the foundations of this place of rape, rob, and murder, man, everything that this devil has brought forth, all right, it has been basically uh, snares and traps to, to bind up uh, you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, all right? Why is that? Because we know that the law of Yahweh Shem Yahshah only abides to you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, who are the true Israelites, uh, contrary to popular belief according to the scriptures, all right? So that's why these these devils are gonna do anything to keep you further and further away from your true power because they know that what they have a short time left to rule. All right, but going back to the, uh, the book of Mark, going back to the book of Mark. It says, uh, Mark. Mark 13 verse 18 it says uh and pray ye that your flight be not in the winter all right at least at least you be what caught off guard all right it says uh for in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which Yahweh Shah created until this time neither shall be all right so yeah because in those times uh 
what it shall be affliction. All right, hey, amen. We're gonna be greatly afflicted and prosecuted for what the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I say persecuted, you know, for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, and if you if you not oh uh, man doing doing the works and, and sincerity and truth and ultimately man getting your faith up for for these times when when this time shall come. All right, hey. You gonna be, you know, you gonna be fucked, you know, just just for a lack of a better term, you know, it, it ain't gonna be, you are not gonna be able to call on y'all by Shem Yah Shah, all right, because it tells you also that what those that say Lord Lord, hey, Amen, I don't even want to deal with them, you know, everyone that say Lord Lord shall not be saved, and that, and that's speaking directly to the ones, that's speaking directly to the uh the ones that know this truth, all right. The ones that say Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, all right. The ones that actually know the name. This uh, Amos nine and uh, I'm gonna start at eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. For lo, I will command, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All right, so yeah, not the, 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 the least grain is gonna be what the elect. All right, not the least grain of the elect is gonna uh, basically be put to death. All right, because what they're doing, what they're supposed to do. All right, and ultimately they've been called and chosen by Yahweh by Shem to put their hand on this plow and, and come forth with the great effort. All right, not bullshit like everybody else is. You have these Christian pastors that's basically polluting the scriptures more and more as the days go by. All right, but what? Hey. That, 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 that winter gonna come and, and what that great affliction is gonna come and it's gonna show us who the true men of Yahweh by Shem Yah Shah are. Right? This is uh Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up. The the great prince will stand before the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since was the was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found in the book. That shall be found written in the book And you want to be Man, you want to have your name sealed Within this book Alright, you want to have You want to be uh, found One of those servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Alright, one of those uh, Righteous servants to, to, to the best of your ability Alright, you want to be found Favorable and blameless And without spot uh, when, when the times of refreshments will come You know Because that's what we striving for We striving to get the hell out of this place Alright We striving to be rulers We striving to, to uh, Man To, to uh, build up a, a righteous foundation Alright And govern the whole world by it Alright Not to just be doing this uh, According to our own will Alright And, and uh, leading the flock astray Alright Because it, I'm going to grab that real quick Because Hey in, in the last book It tells you If you take anything or add it to this book, all right. Your end is not gonna be great. Your end is not gonna be great. It says, uh, okay, uh, this is Revelation chapter 22 and verse 18. For I testify unto every man to hear the words of the prophecy of this book. And what? Hey, man, you, you're supposed to uh, be, be out because the spirit of Yahweh Shah is what? The spirit of prophecy. All right? That's one thing, one main thing that we're set up to do. Prophesy and warn the people before this thing, over, be, be, before that flood come in. All right? Because what the scriptures say, hey, this truth must go out throughout the four winds and then the destruction shall come. All right? But what we have to get... We have to get those elect seal, all right? We have to get the elect seal before anything takes place. And that's really the the, uh, the, the objective of this thing, all right? It is striving, you know, putting your trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahshai and waking up the elect because by the elect uh, being woken up, man, hey, this, this place is going to be destroyed, all right? This place is going to be destroyed. But continuing on, it says, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if... if and if any man shall take away from the words of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city, which is what the king, all right? It says, and from the things which are written in this book, all right? So, man, you taking away from this truth, if, because what the scriptures say, you can only uh, do for the truth, but not against it, all right? So by you, you Christian pastors taking away from it, from you two-thirds, thinking you know what the scripture says, all right? It, it's not looking good for y'all. Right? It's not gonna look good for y'all. Why? Because Yahweh Shimei Shai is gonna is gonna bring that sword down. 
all right, for, for you leading the flock astray, all right, because we know that what they lick is, is real special to y'all, by Shim Yahweh Shah, all right. But going back to that first scripture, man, it says what, man? Pray, pray not that your flight taken the winner, all right, because this thing, man, hey, the wrath of y'all, by Shim Yahweh Shah is gonna catch you when, when you least expect it, all right. When you least expect it, that's when the Lord is gonna come and bring that fire, all right. You might be sleeping, hey, just just using winter time, cause cause hey, the scripture says that no man knows the day, the hour, no no season, you know, but you, but but your hour, all right, the heavenly Father. But hey, man, just just using uh, you know uh, the winter for 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 the hell of it, all right, man. You be in the house, not want to move nothing, and you become a slugger to where you don't even wanna go out and do the work of y'all by shim y'all shot because what is too cold no nah. no nah, you supposed to uh be uh fervent in season and out season all right this is uh all right this is uh first thessalonians chapter five and uh verse one it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. You know, the times and the seasons, man, you don't, it, it's no need for all that. All right, you could, because what, well, you know perfectly what you're supposed, what you're subject to do. All right, it's, it, it's, it's no uh, limitation on uh, how many videos to, to, to put up. All right, strive. Okay, that's, that's what, let me get that word quick. Uh, it says uh to make a great effort to achieve or, or obtain something all right what are we trying to obtain salvation salvation is not just going to be given unto you all right because uh what the scriptures say hey, uh the, the saints of yahweh shall take the kingdom all right you we're going to take the kingdom by going out on the highways and hedges and, and bringing the strongholds down uh with, with these with, with this wisdom not your understanding of, of the truth all right it says a uh, struggle or fight rigorously all right so we're supposed to be fighting right now it is it, it's, it's supposed to, because what hey man through the afflictions we, we we getting our ass kicked all right but what we overcoming them all right through the spirit power you how about shimmy all all right let me grab that real quick Doing it through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yah Uh This is uh, Hebrews 2 and 18. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to secure them that all are tempted. All right, so what? Yahweh Shem Yah Shah pulled us back into that fold so we can overcome everything that, that he didn't overcame. All right, why? Because, hey amen, Lord willing, I'm just speaking on, on my behalf and hey, also, also for the brother that's pushing this thing to see the truth that what? We are the elect. All right. We are there, like, in, in all this, uh, humbleness, and, 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 and man, just, just giving uh, uh, thanks to y'all, by Shimei Hashai, that we're able to be called into this thing and, and push, you know? That's what that's what this thing is about, all right? Doing it with the, in truth and sincerity, all right? Because what, man, the Lord know uh, where your heart is. Well, man's heart is where his treasure is, all right? So, man, if you really love your by Shimei Hashai, like, like you say you do, that's going to be shown by action. Because what? It was shown and recorded by action that what Yahweh Shai uh, laid down his life for us. All right? So we can come out here and, and overcome just like he overcame. So we can obtain what? Being uh, sitting on that right hand seat. Just like he's sitting on the right hand seat of, of, of the Most High, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. All right? Continue on. This is a. Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and uh verse 2. Alright, it says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the light, you know, so in the in the night. So it, that's why it tells you that it, it's no need that we write the, the seasons and, and, and uh 
the, the seasons and the times for you, all right? Because you know that day is going to come as a thief in the night. So in other words, stay on their watch, all right? You must stay on their watch and give warning to those that need it, all right? Because if you don't, there's blood on your hands, and you don't want that, all right? It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Going back to what, pray, pray not that your flight uh, take place in their winter, all right? When they should say peace and safety, when they when they feel that they're uh, basically at a secure moment, all right. When they feel uh, at a secure state in they in their houses, they with their wives or with their kids, and, and they just all uh, snuggled up, all right, preparing uh, the the food. Hey, then you know it's time. Uh, what the the, the uh, economic crash is in place, all right. Now uh, the dollar uh, has crashed, and uh, martial law is being implemented, and also what these RFID chips is gonna be brought more and more to the forefront, all right. Hey man, Esau is waiting, and all the, if you just look around, everything that's around us is basically uh, putting everything in motion to where uh, they they can overcome Jake. All right, each each and, and each and every uh, event, every, each and every individual uh, so-called hood or neighborhood. All right, is a corner store. There's uh, 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 a variety of liquor. All right, you have the the, the, the sea guards. All right, you have the drug dealers that's put there. All right distributing drugs to uh man the the, the young ones that's supposed to be trained up in, in a good way all right it's total uh pollution that's why this place is destroyed this place is going to destroy you if you even take heed to and, and follow uh the, the multitude to do evil all right you're going to be overcome uh, with all these things that that your house by shim is going is going to let allow all right but the objective of, of us, us men of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, we are uh, coming and what? Uh, telling you is a way out of this, you know? If you're called into this thing, but, but mainly if you can receive it, all right? Hey, we have a way out. We have the only way out, all right? If you look at each individual captivity, uh, we only overcame these heathens through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, each and every time. All right, because what we fell away from, from from following our heavenly Father from these strange gods. All right, likewise today, we have our people celebrating Easter, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas. All right, uh, Halloween, all these uh, wicked so-called uh, traditions. All right, that's not traditional to you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native. All right, it's not traditional to y'all. Our customs, it, 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 well, right now. All right, it's uh, the, the Hanukkah. All right. Oh, when we overcame uh, those heathens, all right, through what the spirit and power Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, all right, giving always giving the thanks to Heavenly Father and not uh, Chesare Borgia, all right. It says, uh, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, uh, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Kind, you know, they 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 won't be able to escape these things because, man. Esau it is man. They got these uh, football games going on. They got uh man all these different uh basketball. You know all these different events going on. All right, it's everything around you is a distraction. All right, everything is distract a distraction. That's why the scriptures say what everything that you see around you is temporal. All right, but the things that's not seen, they eternal life. All right. Everything that we are speaking on and we are condoning ourselves by is standing in the spirit so where we can obtain those eternal things. All right, while yet alone, you have our people just just uh, dumbfounded and lost and not even wanting to take heed. Man, they're going to they, they gonna be the ones that this scripture speak about. All right, that what? Uh, it says that as travail upon a woman with child, like, like when a woman is uh, basically uh, betrothed and she's basically about to bring forth the seed. All right. All right, uh, and and that seed can be uh basically uh brought forward at any time. All right, like you might be predicted that a child might uh be delivered at, at a, a total of nine months. All right, but what if if the Lord want want that seed to be brought forward earlier? That's when it's gonna happen. All right, it says and they shall not escape from from no, those those birth pains. All right, those kids, man. And I, when I say kids, I'm speaking of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, the two-thirds, all right? They won't be able to escape because what? They don't have their trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They, they didn't take heed when the men of the Lord was on, out on the highways and hedges uh, proclaiming these things unto them, all right? It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, all right? Because what? That's why the scriptures tell you that it, it was no need for, for, for uh, the, the apostles to write this, these things unto us. We know perfectly 
Why? Because we had this fear on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai before uh, we even came out on uh, out, out of birth. All right, to where we was gonna actually understand these things. All right, this, real quick, this is a uh, Jeremiah chapter one and verse five. It says, "Uh, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee." All right, that's why it was no need. It, it was no need. Uh. For, for, for the right letter to it, all right? Because what, well, Yahweh Shem Yahshua knew that his men was gonna go out on the highways and hills. The Lord knew that his men wouldn't go pervert these scriptures, all right? They was gonna do what, they, they was gonna strive. The Lord knew that his men was gonna strive, all right? And do what, they, what, do what the hell he, he commanded them to do, all right? It says, uh, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, all right? So man, if the Lord has called you into this thing to prophesy the downfall of this place, hey, you gotta be real, real, uh, man, circumspect and thankful for it. All right, a hey, uh, push to, to the end. All right, because when everything uh comes, all right, this is this is all we have to uh, fall back upon. All right, it's like we we uh, set up on a high mountain, and if the Lord tell you to jump off. All right, you gotta be uh, willing to say, hey, I'm I'm, I'm falling off and, and into your hands. All right. That's, that's what we set up to do. So continue on, it says, uh, but ye brethren are not in darkness that, that they should overtake you as a thief. All right, we are not in darkness. And, and ultimately, we're not, uh, we're not, what the scriptures say, uh, we, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices. All right, that's why these things won't overcome us. We know how Satan, uh, the, the so-called white man, we always eat him according to the scripture of Esau, all right, how he's gonna come with his, his uh, uh, devices, all right, his craftiness. All right. It says, "Ye are children of the light, and children of the day. We are not of the night, nor in, nor of darkness. Therefore, let, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober." And what is it speaking of? When we, we are the children of the light. All right. Uh, children of the light. Light brings forth. Uh, light. Light brings forth uh, brightness, all right? That that wisdom that's shining. All right? We'll set, we'll set on that hill, all right? Grab this preset real quick. All right? We're, we're children of the light. And we'll bring forth in this light because everything in this world is what is darkness. All right, everything in this world is darkness if it, if it's not according to the scriptures. All right, this is a uh, Matthew five and verse uh Matthew five and fourteen. It says, "Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid." All right, and that's how when we go into uh real quick the uh, book of First Corinthians chapter four and verse nine. For I think that the Most High have set for us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and angels of men. We're made a spectacle because what? We are that city that's set on the hill that can't be hid. All right? There's this light. This light. Salaki. Like So yeah, we are we are that light that's set on that hill, all right. And, and what we have that light, which is the wisdom, logic, and understanding of scripture. And that's why you let me grab in the hill. That light, all right. Because if you have uh, just just man, for lack of a uh, better term, man, if you have uh, a whole bunch of, I'm gonna just use sleeping for example, all right. If you sleeping in the house and somebody comes in there and, and they flick on the light, all right. What the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your eyes and be like, ah, turn it off. You know, I'm not I'm not ready to wake up. That's the same uh, analogy that that's man, it is it, a perfect analogy uh that, that basically did the uh depicts how the uh two-thirds of our people are, all right? Because what we are that light and man, they are totally uh showing the way in darkness, all right? Real quick, uh what I was gonna go to. Okay, yeah. Uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse uh, 14 I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up a little bit it says uh okay uh verse 11 should I go to oh, I'm gonna start at uh 10 blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake 
for theirs is the kingdom of the of the heaven. All right, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you or persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. All right? Because what? The spirit of prophets is subject to the prophets. So by us going and shining this light up to these people that's uh, asleep, all right? Hey, by us going and shining these, this, this light up to these people that's, that's asleep, hey, we basically doing what we supposed to do. And by them covering their eyes, all right, and they saying, oh, hey, hey, we don't want to see it, that's them all despising your how about Shimei all right? And, and that's why it says that light, that we are, uh, we are, we are that city that sit on the hill and our light cannot be hid. All right, our light can't be hid because of the simple fact that, man, when we give these words, all right, it, it is power, all right? It is power coming straight from Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. These were his words, and well, we're gonna be persecuted for 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 giving out this light. Why? Because Yahweh Shah was persecuted the same way. All right, our Lord was persecuted the same way. This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, uh, "Behold, I will send for many fishers," said Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. They shall fish them, and after I will send for many hunters. All right. And we know what hunting season comes in, in that winter, you know, just going back hunting season comes in that winter All right, it says and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and all of the holes in the rocks For mine eyes are upon all their ways and they are not hid from my face Neither is their iniquity high from mine mine eyes. All right So what hey first the Lord was sent for many fishers which mean Oh, hey man, gather together the, those elect men, all right? And, and once once those elect men are uh, sealed, this is going to be, this right? This is what's going to take place, uh, Revelation 73. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh Shema Shai, and therefore he is going to what? That mark that's in uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, all right? So once once uh, the, the fishing season is over to where the elect is sealed, hey, then it's going to be many hunters, all right? It's going to be many hunters, and this is going to be the outcome of uh, Jeremiah 16 and 4. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Lamented means basically to be uh, buried, all right? It says, neither shall they be buried. It says, but they shall be a dung, all right, upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And the, their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven, for the beasts of the earth. All right, and what, man? This is true light of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. All right, because it tells you in the scripture that many shall be called in by fear. All right, man. The Lord have some of these uh, descriptions and, and these scriptures to where, hey, when you tell it to these people, hey, the Lord gonna make it a uh, real, real visual to them. All right, because that's one way that uh, the, the southern kingdom of, of our people, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, mainly uh, Judah, but our people uh, have to be taught visual, you know, in, in a visual manner. So when they just depict or uh, see it, have, have it visualized in their head, uh, uh, a whole uh, street, a whole neighborhood full of dead bodies, all right, they're going to be shook up, all right? And that's one thing that, that should scare you and bring you into this fold, if need be, all right? But, man, hey, Lord willing, man, brothers keep pushing. Uh, just, you know, hey, coming out with another quick lesson, always will, man, hey. Just, just trying to give the, the exhortation to brothers to push, man. Because by us pushing, man, they, they, they elect, they elect has to be sealed. All right, the elect can't be sealed by us, uh, man, being slothful and, and not putting up, uh, base man, not putting up for effort. All right, not striving to get up out of here because by us not putting up no work, it's basically showing the Lord that we get uh comfortable in this place. All right, so with that, like I say, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone of the world, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the open elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth in sincerity and diligence. Shalom.